Another exciting high school football Friday night across the region in the books. And around the tri state, we had several guys show out on the football field. So, after some tough decisions among our home team Friday crew, we came up with the top four plays that caught our eyes last night. Take a look. Here are your home team Friday play of the night nominees for week two. We start with Harrison CJ Hedgepath as he goes up and gets that ball, intercepts it. He takes it about 70 yards before he is brought down. How about some more defense here? Mount Vernon's Chase West doing what Hedgepath couldn't. Picks off the ball and takes it into the end zone for six. How about some offense here? We have Tecumseh's Colton White taking the option pitch wide open down the sideline as he gets into the end zone. And lastly, Davis County's Chase LaCroix in overtime gets the game-winning touchdown over Owensboro Catholic. And here's a look at those nominees again. Kind of a trend there if your name didn't start with a C. Well, you probably didn't make the list. Go over to tristatehomepage.com to vote. Voting ends at noon on Tuesday. And we had one area game today. Number one, modern day went three hours to play 3A state. Defending champs Tri West, they won 35 to 28. Now turning to the pros and for the Colts preseason game number three is tonight against the Rams. In other words, the game where you expect to see your starters play into the second quarter. And it's that starting group that has Colts Nation a little iffy, especially on the defensive side of the ball, as the team hasn't looked as crisp as the fan base would probably like it to. You can see that game over on Local 7 as that kickoff is at 7 o'clock. And we also have Bears in action a few, in a few minutes right here on WEHT. So get all your snacks together tonight because after we conclude, it's Bears against the Bengals. Now let's move to some hockey as the Iceman had an open house in the Ford Center this afternoon. Nothing was off limits. You could chat with the coach, check out the locker room, see the suites and the party deck. But maybe who got most out of today were the youngest Iceman fans. They get to see things and uh, go back and tell their friends about it at school on Monday or maybe do a uh, report on the uh, Evansville Iceman and their locker room and my day with the, uh, with the Iceman. But it's just uh, you know, a great, uh, great deal for the fans to come down and, and really uh, experience uh, what we experience on a daily basis. And in baseball action, Cardinals just wrapped up. They beat the Giants 6 to nothing, and the Otters are just underway. It is 1-0 as they are up against the Washington Wild Things. That's right. Losing those 10 games was a killer. But they're, they're maintaining. To, yes. They are maintaining. Still have a chance to make the play. That's right.